Did he just murder someone? Yeah. The really creepy calm face. <laughs> just watched him beat someone to death. Malayalam cinema is so distinct. Hey guys, welcome back. We are Sunil and Pia. We are here to react to the new trailer of Malik film. It's the official trailer that released yesterday, starring Fahad Fazil, Nimisha Sajayan. It's a Mahesh Narayanan film. It's on Amazon Prime Video. Can't wait for it to release so we can watch it. We have watched Joji film and Fahad Fazil did a really good job oh, in that film. Oh, he was amazing in that. Yeah, so we're really looking forward to this film to be released. Without further ado, let's get into the trailer. ാണ് <laughs> <laughs> Did he just murder someone? Yeah. Anything else? There's never anything else at the end, is there? At the end of trailers? But you say it every single time. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I wish to see more, but yeah, they they always disappoint me. No, well, that's not good. always. That's good. You don't want to know the end. There are some trailers where they literally show you the end. And what's the point yeah. of seeing the movie? True. Fair enough. I remember when we watched the teaser, we were saying how we felt there was some corruption involved and maybe trying to take someone's land. Yeah. And you can see that emphasized more in the trailer. Yeah. I think it's the land that belonged to a mosque and mm. a Muslim community. Yeah. The complete disrespect that they want to murder someone during their prayers. Like, it doesn't matter what religion you follow. Yeah. That is just... That's when someone's at their most vulnerable. Yeah. That's it's very violent. There were a couple of times where I was like, whoa. I mean, imagine saying, yeah, um, I wish you died when you were a kid. I mean, jeez. Yeah. I wonder if Malik's character is a good character or a bad one. Because he seemed to be mm. murdering people. <laughs> Sorry. <It's> like, <laughs> is he a good person? <laughs> We just watched him beat someone to death, but he could be. Yeah. <laughs> Look, he seems more like an anti-hero mm. than a vigilante. Um, so he's a leader of some kind. Mm. You can see that, a leader of his community. But that's yeah. a pretty brutal way to kill someone. Yeah. Having said that, maybe he had to do it and there was no other way because this other person was blackmailing him. But you know what Fahad Fasal is way too good at? The really creepy calm face. Yeah. When the scene is not calm and he's like, I'm totally calm and it's really scary and he has that creepy calm face. He does not yes. seem at all disturbed that he's murdered someone. Yeah. I just have to say He's that. like... Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like in Joji. Yeah, like in Joji. He Georgie. freaks out a bit more in Joji, but mm. yeah. Yeah. He seemed to be a really confident guy, very established in his community. That's probably Definitely. why he's getting so much confidence and... all the drive to do all these things like him jumping off that roof i mean mm. that was nothing for him and he knew that his people would be waiting in a car and mm. he would get away yeah there was no panic yeah it'll be interesting to see where this goes yeah uh whether it's more political so social religious it seems like all of those things sort of combined mm -hmm. someone told us that this is based on a real story mm. i'm interested to find out what the story is about and who it's about yeah and how far they <laughs> they stretch that story to yeah. make it entertaining for people talking about entertaining malayalam films are really entertaining yeah we have been watching some malayalam films uh, we have finished watching kala film and we kind of have mixed feelings about it i thought the start was really good you know the way they set it up all these sudden Uh, camera movements and sudden sounds mm. it created a lot of mystery for me 
So I really enjoyed the start, but then I felt like the suspense got dragged. Nothing was revealed until like mid of the film. And then it was about these two, it became just about these two people. Mm. Although the other characters were there too. Uh, it, it was just about them fighting it out. The choreography with the fights was really natural. Mm. Uh, but still, the fight was a little bit dragged for me. I really enjoyed the climax though, uh, the way they wrapped things up. I think it was only a couple of videos ago how we were talking about that I always skip the fight scenes. Yeah. And this film is like a elongated fight scene. And yeah. so that's just not really my thing. No. Just in the sense of, of watching cinema. Mm. And I've studied suspense as a theme at, at university, actually. One of my favorite directors, um, not the greatest person from what's been revealed recently, but Alfred Hitchcock was known as the master of suspense. Mm -hmm. And I love suspenseful techniques, but I found it frustrating that you would have this kind of charge of music and this sort of shot, and you're looking at something suspenseful, but you're like, I don't understand what the suspense is like I, I wasn't understanding what was happening and where that suspense was leading to right it wasn't creating any mystery for me i just mm -hmm. found it frustrating because i i didn't see that leading somewhere mm. and where i did hold suspense was i can't stand seeing animal cruelty in films and so i felt really stressed through the whole film that the yeah. i was going to see some cruelty towards his dog mm. and so that kind of made me quite tense throughout the film mm. and i wasn't able to relax yeah uh, so even though it was suspenseful it was a stressful suspense that i didn't enjoy yeah fair enough what i did love was there was really good use of camera techniques Mm. And uh, I really loved their use of space. Uh, they were climbing up and down the trees. Oh, they yeah. had, like you said, great choreography with with the fight scenes. You know, they jump from trees and fight in the mud, and the camera angle would be in all sorts of places. In the water. That was really cool. Mm. I really liked that. And I also think generally the acting was really fantastic. I mean, yeah. you think about it, they're focusing on mainly two people through the whole film, and they have to capture your attention through the entire narrative, and I really think that they did that. I think it's great when a film tries something new, and I think they did try something new. I haven't yeah. seen anything like this before. Yeah. It was more Sunil's cup of tea than mine, it was. but I still think it was a really great film. It was a good thriller. Coming back to Malik and the trailer, there's many more characters in this film compared to Kala. I don't mm. think these two films are comparable at all. The Malik is more political and r real life drama, not really drama, based on real life events. I think Kala is also based on real life events, as someone pointed out. Oh, right. We will be watching Malik because it, it's on Amazon Prime and maybe do a rea reaction or review video on it. We have started watching Super Deluxe Film. We will do a reaction or review video on that as well. I have started watching Ayapanam Koshium. So I'm really liking that. Pia hasn't watched it because I watched it on my day off. <laughs> We've also started watching Nizhal, so we'll be doing a video on that too. Maybe combine all these videos, make a Malayalam movie video. I really feel that Malayalam cinema is so distinct and the style of cinematography I feel it's its own style, Malayalam cinema, and mm. I really love it. I think that Malayalam cinema, I've been really enjoying the films that have been coming out recently. Me too. Hope you enjoyed our video. Leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Let us know in the comments below what you think of our reaction or the talk on Kala movie. Anything else you want to tell us? And don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya. There's plenty of content waiting to be watched, so scroll down and explore all the playlists. Oh, and one more thing, if everyone watching our videos subscribe to us, it'll allow us to do even more videos. So subscribe to us. Come on now.